Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. Welcome back to Nerd News Today. It's time for another mini statue mini review. I like that. Yeah. That sounds... We're getting better at saying that each time. We really are. Yep. So today from QMX, we have the Rocket and Groot Q-Fig from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So this time around, it's almost like a two-pack we're looking at because it's got two characters in it, which yeah. we haven't seen before. Kind of sort of is. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I like it. That's one of the nice things about the Q-Figs is like, unlike, let's say, a Funko Pop, where you'd have to get each character separate, which you do, typically, uh, there's a lot of sets where they're actually multiple characters. Like, yeah. I'm even thinking the Good Feathers from the Animaniacs. Uh -huh. you, got, you get all three birds in one piece. Yeah, there's also, um, for Harry Potter, there's a really great Hagrid and Harry. That's a very expensive set. That one is. That's one. That's a bigger set. piece, but... But, yeah, it's the same thing. There's a lot more, like, affordable, smaller size ones that often have more, more than one character in there. Yeah. But granted, you can't have Rocket without Baby Groot from no, Volume 2 not. Guardians, so... Absolutely not. So here's a quick look at the packaging. You can see windows on the side, and on this side you've got Groot. On this window, you've got Rocket. Aw, how and cute. On the top, not that much of a sunroof, but a little bit there. And a little bit of dust, don't mind that. And on the back, just a nice picture of who we're gonna see, but we're about to open them up and show you what's in there, so I don't think we really need to linger on that image. No, we No, don't. we don't. So again, just like the low-key piece, this one has this nice little protective case around the figure. Mm-hmm, uh, but also just like Loki. Boom, boom. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, this is way better than the image on the box made it look. Oh my God. I don't even know. I know I need to show you guys this, but you gotta give me a moment. Oh my goodness. This is just too darn cute. Yeah. Look at his little Groot butt. That little Groot tushy on the, the back of Rocket there. The things I never thought I'd ever say in my life. But you know what? I don't care because it's adorable. That really is good. Yeah, like, I got to say, looking at the images on the box versus seeing it here in person, mm -hmm. that image was not that good. No. <laughs> Made it look really not that great, to be honest. I thought it was going to be cute, but I didn't expect to be like, what? Yeah, this is actually really, really adorable. And uh, Oh, my God. I mean, Rocket's, of course, you know, kind of fierce, and he's all, like, you know, shooting stuff and whatever, but this is just too cute for words. Yeah, it totally is. Uh, I mean, and there's so much detail in this. Like, I think as of now, of the few that we've reviewed, this is the most detailed that one that we have because there's just so much more going on, you know, and it's not even just with the figures, it's the base. You know, we have the little shrapnel, I guess, you know, and we've got the smoke coming out of the gun and it's just, what is this? This is so cool. Yeah. Like really, I just love this. Like, look at his tail. I know the tail is great. Like. As the usual, sculpting here, there's nothing bad to say about it at all. No, really, there isn't. I mean, the, even up here, you see Groot is, you know, just, you can see where Groot's holding on. Yeah. When do you see that, you know? I mean... What's kind of fun is it's basically a caricature of a CG cartoon, essentially, <laughs> which is even more fun to this piece. But yeah, no, they, I mean, they totally captured Rocket. It's got this awesome Groot expression here. So again, the facial expressions are always very expressive, as mm -hmm. they should be. There's a lot of story, a lot of character in them. Uh, the pose as well, same thing. It's a really strong pose for Rocket. He looks really heroic here. And again, yeah, that smoke plume is a really I nice touch. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's just so much flow and movement. And looking at this, you know, like you feel like Rocket's just going to start shooting at any moment. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I just love about the Q-Figs is the way that they capture a moment, but you can see what's going to happen next. You can feel what's, you know, where they're coming from and where they're going. There's a lot of little details in the outfit all over the oh place. Gosh, yeah. Not just paint, but also sculpting wise. Like mm -hmm. he's got his little knee pads. He has his many, many pouches, his buckles. I like on the back here, it's just a little small thing, but just the fact there's multiple colors on his back here. Yeah. And even those stupid tiny silver lines. Like how many companies would make that and just not even bother painting that in? Yeah. And we're not like sucking up the QMX. We paid for these things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like, it's just something that's really nice to notice on a figure that's this small. Yeah. Um, this is actually the first piece where I'm seeing a little bit of schmutz on the paint job. Um, on the tail, there is something that's like a little too obvious not to mention, but otherwise this is so clean. Like the, there's some stuff on the base you can see a little bit of over here. Yeah. But it's actually very well hidden, to be honest. So you wouldn't really see that. Yeah, literally the tail is the only thing that I'm really seeing. And that's just because, you know, it's black on brown. And you wouldn't even see that because it's like, you know, you're going to be looking at it from the front, not from the back. Yeah, so it's just, it's really, it's just really good. So that's our look at Rocket and Baby Groot from QMX's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Q-Fig series. That's a mouthful. Yeah, right? Yeah. See, now I know what I was suffering before. Yeah, yeah. Overall, another really strong piece. I just, I just, I really can't get it over it. I mean, sorry, I know we we're trying to wrap up, but really, I'm like looking over here and just the fact that there's a little bit of detail and difference in color between the top of Groot's head and the rest of him, 
it's these little details that yeah. mean the, they make the biggest difference. There's a lot of little details. That's really what you can say about the Q things. Yeah. That you know, again, just to draw back to that comparison to pops, only because of size and price point. But you just get so much better value, I feel, out of Q-Fix, because you're getting like an actual statue. Yeah. That has a lot more character to it than I think the, the chicken-eyed Funko Pops. I no, I agree with yeah. you on this. Um, yeah, it's just a great piece. It's such a fun thing. It's like if you get a set of this, you know, because like, I'm sure they had other figures. Yeah. Um, if you got them all together, it'd be fantastic. But just alone, perfect. Yeah. Perfect, and it's great because you can put it on like your desk. You can put it in random little places, and it's. It's not a huge statue, so it's not in the way, and but it's just it's such a great little. And who doesn't something. want a statue of Rocket and Groot, really? Really, yeah. yeah. So if I'm... you don't, you're a hater, and don't be a Groot or Rocket hater. That's not right. What you got against him? Well, all right, that's something new I learned about you. Here. <laughs> what? Real, real big on uh, defending Groot and Rocket. Have you seen him? I Why have. wouldn't I? I have. There you go. <laughs> See. <laughs> That's our rocket and our baby Brrr. group. That's Andrea. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing over there. But... I was trying to make his expression. Sorry, I'll look fine. I'll do Gert. That's our thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> this is weird. I, I, I'm Matthew. That's Andrea. <laughs> That's Andrea. We're, we're going to go now. We'll see you guys next uh... time with our mini statue review and maybe even some big statue reviews. Yay. Big group, perhaps. Ooh. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.